You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett Atlanta, all of my friends around the world. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. 80 degrees, going up to a high of 91. It's going to be, it's going to be hot today. It's going to be hot. Is it going to rain? I don't know. It looks like sunshine all day long. You know, it's been crazy weather. It's been raining, raining. It's been nuts. It's been nuts, but I don't know if it's going to rain or not. But right now it's beautiful, 80 degrees. So it's a lovely 80 degrees. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today is Thursday, July the 6th. Thursday, July the 6th. Time waits for no one. We are past that already. It's also um, Capital City Day. It's also, uh, what is that? Edie, Edie Gadar Day. That's a religious holiday. Also, Fast Shiva Asar. Tammuz, I'm messing this up, excuse me, y'all. It's also International Kissing Day. All right, show some love. Now, kiss the right person. Kiss the right person. It's also um, my hip day, Mazaram. It's a lot of them kind of strange days. It's also Cupola Day, Cupola Night, Cupola Night. It's also Malawi Independence. It's also National Air Traffic Control Day. Listen, guys, I, I was almost an air traffic controller. I was li- I was living in Jersey. I was young too. I was this was before my daughter was born. Was was it before she was born? I think it was because I went to school to, to be a paralegal. Finished that at Seton Hall University. Um, I was going to be because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to get out of the hospital, which is where I worked for almost nine years, eight and a half years. I worked eight and a half years. I wanted to do something different. Um, I went to, I started to do air traffic control until they, until they told me you could not take your eyes off the screen because if you even looked away, there was a possibility a plane would crash. So I, I dropped that real quick. I went to paralegal school, got my paralegal certificate and went to go talk to some attorneys and some paralegals. And they was like, that's the worst field ever. I was like, don't want to do that. Cause you know, and what's crazy is had I got encouragement, I probably would have been a paralegal and I probably would have been an adult going good. I probably would have, I probably would have wound up being an, an attorney. I probably would have, because I'm the type of person who likes to research and put together arguments, but I didn't know. I might have been a good, I might have been good. Anyway, today is National Daniel Day, so if your name is Daniel, shout out to you. Oh Lord, it's National Fried Chicken Day. That's every day for some folks. Some people love fried chicken, they will eat it every day. Um, National Hand Roll, uh, Hand Roll Day, Hand Roll, okay, whatever that is. National Take Your Webmaster to Lunch Day. All right, show your webmaster some love. They keep your website up and running. I'm a, I'm, I am my own webmaster. So webmaster, Audrey. Yeah, webmaster, Audrey. That sounds cute. Um, Thirsty Thursday. All right, Thirsty Thursday. Umbrella cover day. Somebody made a day out of that. Like, for real. I'm just saying. Virtually hug, virtually hug a virtual assistant. Shout out to all the virtual assistants out there who help, help us keep our business running smoothly. And World's Anosis Day. I have no idea what that is. That's something in the health industry. All right. Those are your national days for the day. Let's keep this train rolling. Let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Mike Thyssen for Thursday, July the 6th. We're going to kick it off like we always do. And that is with Aries. You, you will be up and down emotionally. Up and down. Your greatest enjoyment will come through social activities and pleasure trips. Don't exaggerate. All right. Take a trip. Take a trip, do something fun, but listen, don't be up and down emotionally. Do something fun so you can make yourself feel better. I don't know what that is for you. Whatever it is, do it. Except if it's going to harm you, don't do that. Okay? All right, Aries, don't do the things that are going to harm you. Do the things that's going to make you feel good inside, but not things that's going to harm you. The, the, the crazy thing about that is... Okay, I'm not going to go I'm not, I'm not gonna go that deep this morning. Not going that deep. All right? Taurus. Don't trust others with your private information that could be used against you. Property investments, insurance, taxes, or inheritance should bring you financial gains. Based on your excitement, serious-minded individuals will be more than interested in backing your ideas. All right, look at you about to get your ideas back because they feel they're going to invest in you, Taurus. People don't invest in ideas, they invest in the person. So if you're showing some excitement about this thing, they're probably saying yes. They're probably saying yes. All right, Gemini. 
Lovers may prove unworthy of your affection. You mustn't be so trusting. You need to concentrate on solving existing problems. All right. Now listen, don't be so trusting. And your lover, mm, they may prove unworthy. If they do, we, we had a conversation. So yesterday I was on I was on People Think About It, right? That's a podcast. It's um, hosted by Lamar and Dor- uh, Dorshell Clark. And I was on their podcast and we talked about relationship. And we and so that podcast is mostly always about relationship. It's like people think about it, but it's always about relationship. And we were talking about being in a relationship where it's one sided, being in a relationship when your person has outgrown each other. So check them out. Check out people think about it at peoplethinkaboutit.com. They got some good shows on there. And I was on there yesterday. I've been on there two Wednesdays in a row. So check out the show. Peoplethinkaboutit.com. All right, cancer. Deception and doubts may sound may surround your involvement with friends and relatives. Your money-making opportunities will flourish. Be careful when dealing with female members of your family. All right, money, money-making opportunities are going to flourish right now, Cancer. So make sure you're ready for that. Put all your ducks in a row. All right. In the meantime, in the meantime, be careful when dealing with family members, um, female members of your family. I don't know what that means. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Leo, catch up on your reading and correspondence, travel, and learning should be on your agenda today. Arguing won't help. So while you wasting time trying to argue, it's not going to help the situation. Leave it alone, Leo. Leave it alone. It's not going to help you today. Virgo, in-laws and older relatives, older individuals may give you a bit of a hard time today. Travel could turn out to be more exciting than you imagine. Keep your wits about you and be sure that you can trust those you confide in. All right, here's the thing, uh, Virgo. <clears throat> if it's your private business, you may want to make sure whoever you're about to tell it to, you can actually trust. And you can know that because you've trusted them before. If you for a second think that I shouldn't tell this person this, don't tell them. Just don't tell them. All right? All right. All right, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the heart. It's brought to you by Noted Astrology, Micah Thais. And stay tuned. Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally.
Welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, Oily Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Michael Thais. And we're going to pick it up with Libra. You know, I, um, one of the things about uh, doing the horoscope, okay, yeah, um, it's the horoscope time. So let's, uh, I'm sorry, let's pick it up with Libra, y'all. I'm all, I'm, I'm like, I'm like baffled right this second about something. Anyway, Libra, get down to business and do your work yourself. Listen to the complaints of others. Career changes may not be your choice right now, but in the long run, you'll be, it will be to your advantage. All right. All right. Get down to business with your, get down to business and do the work yourself. Here's the thing. Sometimes you want it, you need help, you want help, but you can't find good help. That I know that sounds like a cliche, but it's the truth. So you just have to do, do things yourself. And when you do find somebody that can help you, be sure to take care of them. If when you find somebody that has your back and you can, they can help you, take care of them. That's all I'm saying. Scorpio, make changes regarding your friendships. You will enjoy travel and getting with getting together with your peers. Pleasure trips will turn out to be better than you anticipated. All right, sounds like a lot of fun for you, Scorpio. Sounds like a lot of fun with you. Um, mm, make changes regarding your friendships. I don't know exactly what that means. It sounds like you might be dropping some folks. I'm just saying sometimes you outgrow people. You really do. You know, sometimes, and it's, it's not anything bad. It's just that when people grow, you outgrow some people in your life. And some of those may be friends. Now you may have friends like me who have been friends forever. Um, and I'm definitely grateful, but we don't have a whole lot in common. You know, we don't have a lot in common at, at all. And so when we're together, it's a little strained. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, it's a little strained for me because I'm always in business mode and I'm not sure where they are. Um, so it's a little bit strange, but, but we can have some fun when we let our hair down. And, and so, you know, sometimes you just have to make that change. Sagittarius opportunities to get together with people in powerful positions could help you get ahead. Try to be patient and understanding rather than making a scene, communicate quietly about the way you feel. All right, look, Sagittarius, don't, ha- you don't have to show out in public, right? You don't do that. Don't make a scene. Don't embarrass yourself. Don't embarrass the person that you're with, that you're with. Make sure you can, you know, wait till you get home if you have to, if you can. Uh, if you can't, then do it quietly in a quiet place where people can't see you, they can't hear you, but don't make a scene. Yeah, that's just ugly. Capricorn, you should be looking at ways to spoil yourself. You can make personal changes that will enhance your appearance and bring you, bring about greater social activity. Uncertainty regarding your direction is likely. Um, take, take care of yourself, Capricorn. Look for ways to spoil yourself. I got to, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to speak, right? Someone gave me a gift certificate to get a massage in, in back in Mother's Day. <clears throat> I haven't gotten a massage yet. It's July. I'm going to get my massage though. But I, you know, for me, it's, it's a matter of making the time to go do those things. So I understand exactly where uh, Sagittarius is. But take care of yourself, Sagittarius. Aquarius, your ideas can be put into action. Entertainment can be pleasing if, if it is an energetic nature. <clears throat> Be careful not to hurt the ones you love. Aquarius, if you love them, do everything you can not to help them. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. If you love them, do everything you can not to hurt them. Because once you hurt them, it's hard to turn back, even when you say, I'm sorry. So do your best. Uh, Pisces, my, my fellow fish Pisces. Most most partner problems are the result of both of you not living up to your, to your promises. Ooh, ooh, it's both of y'all problems. Be up front. Be up front if you don't want to be embarrassed. Your personal thoughts, put your personal thoughts in action. Okay, that's a lot. So, Fish, most personal, most partner problems are the result of both of you not living up to your promises. What is it that you're not living up to? And here's the thing. Don't blame the other person. Do your part. And if they don't do their part, at least you've done your part. Right now, it's both of y'all problems. You, you and her are the problems. So you're not living up to your promises. Be up front so you don't be embarrassed. I don't know about you, Fish, but this fish right here don't like to be embarrassed. So you need to be up front right now, Fish, so you don't be embarrassed. And the, set, the last thing, put your thoughts into action. So look, listen, thoughts become things. So put your thoughts into action. Here's the thing, though. Put out good thoughts. Don't just put out thoughts. Put out good thoughts. Because thoughts become things. All right, that's all the horoscope I got for you today. I'll be back on Monday to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Michael Thassa. But check this out. Check this out. I'll be back tomorrow, but I won't be here. You got to go to the website. 
we're going to be doing the first ever Good Morning Gwinnett Friday Morning Mingle. Oh, I'm so excited about that. The first Good Morning Gwinnett Friday. It's live video. It's me and about four or five other women. We're going to come on every Friday. So tomorrow at 9 a.m., we'll be doing the Gwinnett Friday Morning Mingle. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of great women in that group. So be sure to tune in. So uh, make sure to follow me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett because that's where you can watch the Friday Morning Mingle um, and download the link. And then also put all the ones that's going to be on the calendar on your calendar so you never miss an episode. That's live video. So, yeah, we'll be on video tomorrow live, y'all. The Friday morning mingle. All right, let's keep this train rolling. Let's get on with some news that you can use. Um, the city of Norcross says, We are thrilled that the Lionheart Theater and the Norcross Gallery and Studios have been awarded grant funds through the Gwinnett County Creativity Fund. Congratulations to the incredible local arts and or- organization for their well-deserved recognition. A big thank you to Explore Gwinnett for their unwavering support in fostering creative creativity and keeping our community vibrant and artistic endeavors. So shout out to Noah Cross for that. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. All right, listen, I'm going to run to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So stay tuned. Always in me, Commonwealth, milk junk, getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. No one knows I made mistakes. You won't end, but it's too late. I don't need your support just to know I'm important. I won't ever sell myself short, cause I know you see me on the come up. Big girl with big dreams and big Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up I'ma put my money where my mouth is Talk a good game, I'm my alpha babe Even on my worst day, still an alpha babe Standing next to me, you gotta be an alpha babe Eight ball in your pocket, I'm your alpha babe It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Congratulations to Deputy, um, Deputy Lazaro, <clears throat> 15 years of service with the GCSO. That stands for the Gwinnett County Sheriff Office. Thank you for your continued dedication to serving the citizens of Gwinnett. Congratulations, 15 years. Listen, I always like to congratulate the men and women who, who keep us safe here in Gwinnett County. So I'd like, I'd love to do that because... You know, we want safety. We want safety. All right, what's happening today? What's happening? The Mills Over Money is happening at Happening. You missed that already. It happened already, so you don't miss the next one. Go to Gwinnett. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Go to Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce to find out more events there. But tomorrow, they're going to be having their first Friday. And so that's going to be at, um, you can check that out tomorrow. That's going to be at um, Cosmos Pizza and Social located at 144 East Krogan Street. So check that out tomorrow. Um, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, later on today, 5 p.m. today, it's happening. It's happening downtown Lawrenceville. Beats on the streets. I think I'm going to go to this. Beats on the street every Thursday from uh, through July. 
Yeah, it's going down tonight at 5 o'clock. So, they got a DJ. They got an art series. They got Beats on the Street. I think that's pretty doggone cool. Check that out, Beats on the Street. Listen, this is why I love Gwinnett County. If you can't find something to do in Gwinnett County, you're a boring person. It's just, it's just the truth. It really is. You are a boring person. You can't find something to do in Gwinnett County because there's always something to do in Gwinnett County. Speaking of doing things in Gwinnett County, the city of Sugar Hill is doing Sip, Stroll, and Savor tonight at 6 p.m. also. Um, first Thursday, Thursday on the promenade downtown Char- uh, Sugar Hill. Indulge in delicious bites from our food vendors and shop from local vendors. Yes, business vendors there. As an added treat, take advantage of Small Works ex- Exhibition. Reception at the Sugar Hill Art Gallery, showcasing talented artists from the community. Enjoy a special performance by Aiden Fisher. Um, it's the perfect opportunity to experience a blend of flavors, fun, and artistic creativity. That's Sugar Hill, y'all. Go on. Yep, we got a town called Sugar Hill. So, yep, is it sweet? I don't know. I don't know if it's sweet or not, but there is a town called Sugar Hill. So, check it out. Um, <clears throat> this coming Saturday... Um, you can enjoy an evening with New York best time selling author Lisa C. Yep, on her book tour. I'm going on book tour too. Me and the girls, me and the ladies of DWC. Um, Lisa Lisa C. on her book tour for her new historical novel, Lady Tan Circle of Women. A wine bar refreshments and silent auction will be available. Thanks to the friends of the library for more. For more information, go to the Gwinnett County Public Library. She's going to be at the Norcross uh, Cultural Center this Saturday at 7.30. You can listen to her, uh, read, read some excerpts from her book. That's going to be located at 10 College Street, Southwest, Southwest in Norcross. I don't know, I'm, my tongue tied this morning. My nose is kind of stopped up. I think it's kind of interfering with what I'm trying to say. That's what I think is going on. Yeah, so that's about all the news I got for you today. I'm going to go to my last song, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to I'm going to give you my words of inspiration for the day. So stay tuned. I'll be right back after this song.
Welcome back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my words of inspiration. Here goes. Once you say you're going to settle for second, that's what happens to you in life. Let me say that again. Once you say you're going to settle for second, that's what happens to you in life. John F. Kennedy said that, and he was right. When you settle for second anything, you're always going to be second. You're always going to sec- settle. If you sec- settle best, second best anything, you're always going to be second best in everything. So here's the thing. Here's my thought, right? Don't settle for second best. Shoot for number one all the time. You might fall second sometime, but always aim to be number one. Always. Right now, I'm aiming to be the number one podcast in the in the state of Georgia, in the world, local, hyper local podcast. I'm aiming for that. I talk about I talk about expanding this show all the time. I don't want to be second. I want to be number one. I want to be first, and I have many firsts in my life. Many. I got a first that I'm about to do right now, and I'll talk about it next week once I launch it. It's going to be a first, and I'm excited to do it. I like being first. You should like being first, but sometimes sometimes it's okay to be second. You know why? Because you can learn from the mistakes of the ones that came before you. But I'm aiming for number one. Like Even after I, even after I fall second behind that person, once I learn what they messed up on they're from their mistakes, I'm still aiming to be number one. So I may be second right now, but I'm aiming for number one. In Gwinnett County, I'm probably second to a couple of news organizations here in Gwinnett County. But guess what I'm aiming for? Number one. I'm going for number one. So that's what you should aim for. So all I got for you today could have been anywhere in the world but spend the last 27 minutes with me. And I love and appreciate you for that. If you missed any episodes of this show, please go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. Also, be sure to connect with me on Facebook and Instagram at goodmorninggwinnett. Um, that's where I am. I'll be back again, y'all. Tune in tomorrow. Go to the website so you can get the link. Or go to Facebook, my Facebook page, Good Morning Gwinnett. Facebook, Good Morning Gwinnett. So you can get the live stream tomorrow. We'll be doing live videos. It's going to be the Friday morning mingle. I'm excited about that. This is the first episode of Gwinnett, Good Morning Gwinnett, Friday morning mingle. So I'm super duper excited about that. Um, so make sure to tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. We'll be live. Go to the Facebook page. Follow the page so you'll get the alert when we go live. All right? All right, I got to go. That's all I got for you today. You could have been anywhere, but spend some time with me. I love and appreciate you for that. I'll be back again tomorrow, 9 a.m. for the Friday morning mingle. Make sure to check it out um, for Good Morning Gwinnett. Until next time, you guys. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.